Hello friends, welcome to the channel name Qshin tonight. In this video, I am going to start the OpenCV series using Python. So in this series, you are going to see many things related to the image processing and we are going to create so many projects on OpenCV. Uh, by the way, I am using Python right here. Obviously, the OpenCV is the library for Python. You can easily uh, install OpenCV in your computer. Um, if you don't have OpenCV, so by the way, I have just put the link that how can you easily install OpenCV that is inside the description. So you can easily uh, download OpenCV by taking the help from that link. Uh, please find inside the description. So let's without wasting any time, let's just start the idle, the Python idle. By the way, I am just going to create all the project on idle. I am not using anything related to Anaconda or Jupyter Notebook. So make sure that the Python has also been installed on your PC. Okay, so the idle has been open. Now you have to click over the file and just click the new file like this. This entitled window uh, allows you to write the code right here. Now what I have to do is just write the code inside this. Just close that window and just import write the code. The first thing that you have to do right here is to import the CV2. That is actually the open CV library. And yeah, so what are we going to do right here? We are just going to show the image on the window. So for that purpose, I have to create a variable that is IMG image and you have to call the CV2 um, dot IM read. Like IM read is a function through which you can just read the image that is saved or is stored inside your computer. You have to give the path, uh, by the way, the location of the file, that image file that where it is stored in your PC uh, on the first parameter inside these um, circular brackets. So I have just stored my image inside the <laughs> folder that is tuition tonight. And I am also going to store this file inside that folder so I don't have to give any path. By the way, this is the image that I have downloaded from internet and I am just going to show this image on a new window. So I don't have to put the location, the file location. I will just pass the name of that file that is sa.jpg. Make sure that the extension should be correct. If you just put the wrong extension of that image, I mean, if the image is stored in PNG and you are just mentioning JPG in your code, it will not run the image. It will not read the image, sorry. On the second parameter, you have to put one right here in order to just uh, give the resolution of the image. Now on the next line, you have to write cv2 dot i am show function i am show allows you to create the uh, window inside uh, you are going to uh, show the image inside that window so the name of that window should be window windows right windows comma and uh, here you have to pass the variable name of that image that you have created above this line that is IMG. I have just passed that variable right here. Now what you have to do on the next line is just cv2 dot wait key. Wait key. The K should be capital. Uh, and inside that you have to place the delay time that is zero. Right. So on the last line, you have to put cv2 dot destroy window and the name of that window will be passed over here. That is windows. Now let me save that file into that specific folder that I have created on the desktop. That is actually this one, tuition tonight, open cv. I am going to write the name that is window open close this is the name of my file just click save go to run and click run module yes so this is the image that has been a uh, displaying that that has been displayed inside the window and the name of that window is written on the top that is windows 
you can just destroy the window by clicking this red button and this is how simply you can just create the simple program to show the image inside the window so that's it and uh, in this video i just told you that how to create the window and show the image inside it uh, in the next video i am going to show you that how can you just convert the a resolution image into a grayscale so stay tuned and stay connected with this channel and please hit that subscribe button so that you can get my videos easily thank you